Hello students. Welcome to the course Theory of Computation. This is Professor Ashwini S. Devakar from Surana College, Southern Campus, Bangalore. In this session, we are going to cover Introduction to Finite Automata, the Central Concepts of Automata Theory, Computability Theory, Complexity Theory, Real-Time Applications of Finite Automata, and some of the applications of automata in theory of computation. Before we get into the subject, let us understand some basics. What is computation? As we all know that computation is the step-by-step -step solution to a problem. Suppose we are given two numbers and we want to multiply the two numbers. How do we go about multiplying them? So, there are known methods, there are known algorithms that we use to multiply two numbers in order to get their product. This is an example of computation. Similarly, consider that you have a dictionary and you want to search for a word in the dictionary. How do you search for that word? We all know that in a dictionary, the words are arranged in an alphabetical order. So, you just open some page randomly depending on whether your word is before that page or after that page. You keep on looking at the dictionary. You keep on reducing your search base until and unless you find the word that you are looking for. The point is that for each of these problems, we can come up with a step-by-step -step method or what is known as an algorithm that helps us to answer the question either in a positive manner or in a negative manner. When we are looking at such computational problems, the question that comes to our mind is what model or what kind of computational devices do we use to compute our solution or on what computational devices do we run our algorithm? There are many computational devices that are available. For example, a calculator is one of the simplest computational device that allows us to perform basic arithmetical operations, sometimes even a little more. The modern cell phone or your smartphone has several features using which you can compute. In fact, the modern smartphone is almost equivalent to that of a computer. Of course, a computer is a very popular device. And if you think about a little bit, for example, when I look at the first computational problem, that is multiply two numbers using a calculator or a cell phone, a computer but you can also do it on a pen and paper so your standard pen and paper also is a computational device because you can use that to solve a certain computational problems now we understood what is computation let us understand this term from the perspective of the subject theory of computation that means we have a problem P.